I want to start off with this take from Marco Klonovic and his team. Do you believe right now is the time to be defensive? Is that the way you see that portfolios should be balanced at this time? Well, I think we are approaching what's called the sell in May period. Uh, I've always told that investors don't retreat, rotate. You're better off gravitating toward the more defensive areas, such as consumer staples and healthcare, in that challenging May through October period. Uh, Pacer has uh, a seasonal rotation ETF, SZNE, uh, which I developed uh, that embraces that kind of a strategy. But I do agree also with their last statement that you basically look through the noise, you look beyond the valley, because a year from now, our expectation is that share prices will be meaningfully higher. Meaningfully higher. So exactly what noise are you talking about? Are we talking the banking crisis? Are we talking rate hikes? What's the noise that you think investors need to look through? Well, there's a lot of noise out there. Uh, I, I think that the Fed will be raising rates two more times at the May meeting and also at the June meeting. Uh, I think that the uh, OPEC decision will help uh, maintain a stickiness to the inflation readings. And also, I think the Fed wants to ensure that they truly have strangled inflation, so higher for longer. <clears throat> but then I'm reminded that the Fed does tend to cut interest rates about nine months after the last rate hike and that the S&P has seen all sizes, styles, sectors in positive territory in that nine-month period, with the S&P up an average 13 percent. All right, so you're, you're bullish on equities, but Sam, I also want to get your take on the latest results from our CNBC survey of chief financial officers. This is an exclusive, exclusive look at what these financial decision makers think about a, a number of topics. This is focused on recession. 57 percent of global CFOs polled say they expect a recession in the second half of this year. 27% expecting it to come in the first half of next year, while 17% say they expect the Fed to actually pull off that soft landing. What's your take on this? Well, I think a mild recession is built into the cards already. I mean, we have just entered into an earnings recession uh, with earnings in the uh, fourth quarter of last year down about 4 percent, expected to be off 6.5 percent in the first quarter of 23, and then 6 percent in the second quarter. But I also like to say that you can rarely injure yourself by falling out of a basement window. <laughs> and with the expectations being so low right now, I think that there is room for upside surprise. Uh, so I think a lot of this negativity is already built into shares. And I'm impressed with how resilient the market has been in the face of it. Haven't, I've never heard that basement window <laughs> metaphor. That was an interesting one right there. Uh, Sam, I know you're also looking at small caps. Look at the Russell, only up about 2% this year compared to the S&P's 7% rise. Where are you seeing the opportunities in those small caps? Is it certain sectors within the small caps? Well, what's interesting is that the uh, small cap stocks have uh, taken it on the chill chin in the uh, past quarter, worries about the banking crisis, not only for smaller banks, but also uh, for their reluctance to lend to the smaller companies that, that need that kind of assistance. Uh, but when you look at the valuations right now, both the S&P small cap 600 and mid cap 400 are trading at about a 35 percent relative P.E. discount to the S&P 500 on forward 12 month earnings. Earnings. Uh, so a report that I wrote uh, just on Monday talked about those groups that tend to do fairly well in the second quarter. Uh, so areas like auto parts and equipment, like consumer finance, uh, environmental services and energy, uh, oil and gas exploration and production are areas I think could do well. So when we're looking at small caps, when it comes to the Russell, at least, is this a buy the dip? Is this a chance to just buy that index and just hold on right now as, as it underperforms the rest of the market? Um, I think so, because certainly we can't know exactly when to time the movement. Uh, I do believe that technicals tell you uh, when and how far, whereas fundamentals tell you what. Uh, so by looking at the relative performance of small caps versus the larger caps right now, it's basically saying stay away, but some very nice long-term opportunities lay ahead.